Okay, today we're going to be doing the lab on how to reduce friction. We have a little setup here that uh, allows us to apply a downward force to move a friction block. The friction block is a block of wood that has four different surfaces. Side number one is just a smooth side. It's been sanded smooth. The next side with sandpaper on it is very rough. The side with the W on it is the side that you wax, and the way you wax it is you take the wax paper and rub it on. And the fourth side is reduced surface where you have all the uh, friction just on two rails or like skate runners, okay? So the way it works is pretty simple. You just choose a side. We'll start off with the waxed side. So we set it at the start line. Always put the 500 gram weight on top so that that's pushing the nooks and crannies down, creating friction as soon as it starts moving. And now you have to find the minimum weight it takes to move that block at least 20 centimeters, which is to the line that says stop. So the way you do it is select a weight, very carefully put it on the weight hanger, and notice that moves it. So that might be a little too much. We need to know the minimum weight, so let's start again. So that one was 100 grams, so we know 100 grams maybe is too much. So let's go with a lower amount, that would be 50. And when we put 50 on, nothing happens. So we know it's gonna take between 100 and 50 additional grams to move it. So now we'll go to 20. When we put the 20 on, we see that the friction block starts to move. And that looks pretty darn good. And so we would probably go with that as the weight. Now the way you figure out the total weight is you gotta take into account the weight of the weight hanger. So there's 20, 50, and this also is 50. So that'd be 120 grams. So since that was the lubricated surface, that's the wax side, you would do right 150 grams right here or excuse me, 120 grams. And then you do each test twice, just for accuracy, and then you would get an average, add the two together and divide. Now the only other part that would be a little tricky is when you get to the one where you're doing sliding to rolling friction. In the plastic cup, you've got some rollers and you've got a bent paper clip. The rollers, we're gonna use those like the Egyptians and other early civilizations before they had wheels used to use things. You line the rollers up so that you'll be changing sliding to rolling friction. Set the block on that. And put the weight on top. And now since the 50 gram weight hanger will be too much, it's gonna take less than 50 to move that. We hook the paper clip on here and then we just simply will take and add the small weight. You might want to start with five. If that doesn't work, try 10 or 20 until you get it to move at least that far. When you're done then, your job is to look at the average force that it took to break the friction in those five setups and then rank the five surfaces, rough, smooth, lubricated, reduced, and sliding to rolling. Rank them from that which produces the least friction to that which produces the most friction. Okay, go back and get started.